Tamilna Chief Minister MK Stalin today addressed the issue of protests going on in a Chennai college in the Tamil Nadu assembly and assured safety of girl students. CM Stalin said that he has spoken to the district collector and the matter is under scrutiny. Students at a prestigious college which falls under the Kalakshetra Foundation are fighting for safe space for women. Girl students at the Rukmini Devi College of Fine Arts allege sexual harassment by senior faculty members. The girls allege that the harassment has been going on for years and no action has been taken despite repeated complaints to the internal committee. The students have also written to the Union Culture Ministry demanding action on the accused. Let's listen in to the inputs coming in. Mayalum Angula Manavigal and Padaka Pirke, Tevayan, Anathu, and other Vadikal and Mudaka Pate Angur Pin, Aivala Talamil, Kavala Hill, Padaka Pirke, Nerata Putrakar Hill Arasai Purtavare in the Vivaratil Uriya Visar and Merkula Pate, Kutracha to Urdi Anal Tabar Say the Varil Yara Hirandalam, our Hemi the Uriya, Saturian and other Vadikai Katayam. As per whenever a written complaint comes, we are ready to investigate as per law. And as of now, there is nothing which has come. That's what we wanted to clarify. So written complaint specific cognizable offense is may not be definitely take action, but it does not come like that. And they have certain demands which can be taken care of by the department concerned. Still, we are keeping a police presence there to ensure safety of the students and smooth conduct of uh, the whole thing. Right, joining me here on the program is A.S. Kumari, Tamil Nadu Women's Commission Chief. Very good evening, ma'am. Thank you for joining me here on Mirror Now. You were in the campus to take stock of the situation. What we have here is shocking at many levels. This has been going on for years. Every complaint has fallen on deaf ears. No one has paid heed to the complaints made to the internal complaints committee or to the principal. What have you gathered, ma'am, from your visit to the campus? See, I just went to Moto and I met the students, girl students, and even some boys were there. And I, they, I spoke to them one by one, one to one. And they said, you know, which I cannot say now in the media, it's all very confidential. And they have spoken to me. Almost I had four to five hours, I inquired them. After that, they've given me a complaint. Uh, they've given me a complaint, which I have got it now. Almost more than 200 complaints they've given to me, which I'm going to I've come to my office. I will sit and prepare a statement, and then we will do the proceedings. Right, but you know, what has happened here is the existing grievance redressal system seems to have gone defunct. Internal complaints committee has failed. The principal has decided to look the other way. It was not until these women decided to come out and protest, galvanize uh, women to come together, that anything moved. It shouldn't be that way. No, one thing, they have not given any complaint to the police which I, I, read, I asked them and inquired, there was no complaint given. And even to the Women Commission of Tamil Nadu, they were, given, they were not given any complaint. Because they protested, we came to know, so we have gone there. So no, if this is going to be properly, we will investigate, and definitely we will do justice to the students. And we will give them a safety environment for them to uh, be there in the college. 100% we will do that. That's the problem, isn't it? I mean, you're saying they did not complain to the police, they did not complain to the Women's Commission, but there is a system in place. Every institution is supposed to have an internal complaint committee for sexual harassment as per the new law. That system is not working. It should not be that until protests break out, until media uh, reaches there, nothing will move. Is there anything that the State Women's Commission is mandated to do to ensure the functioning of the internal complaints committee. That's the first step for any woman, uh, you know, who's suffering through something like this. It seems your commission had no idea until the protest broke out and uh, media channels like us started reporting. See, today I was not able to get them, whether the director or the deputy director, to talk to them. So maybe tomorrow also I may go, but I have told the deputy director that I like to see all the ICC records, everything, even the members. Maybe today or Monday I will go and meet them again 
and i will check the members what is the thing previous how many complaints have done what they have done with the complaints i think i will get into it thank you so much for saying that we take your word for it that you will ensure that the systems are robust that women do not have to go to this extent of leaving their classrooms and coming out on the street and begging to be heard it should not be like this and we do hope that their voices are heard now that the matter has escalated thank you very much uh, ms kumari for joining us here on the program